Some unidentified guy says an X-Division match was scheduled. Oh, my God. Their legal options are limited. But Jerry Lynn is injured. He will get a next title no shot shit. when he returns. It was Barron's. You're telling me that guy's hurt? Bill Barron's, you say? Yes. Okay. The- yeah, Bill Barron's. Remember that? Remember when he was going all nutty for a while? All I know is Remember like that storyline where he was like all weird? It's been 16, sh- what we say, 16 shows, and there have been 17 different authority figures. So, okay. Tonight... I just remembered the Bill Barron's promo. Where Remember he was just that? Going off on Jeff Jarrett, calling him Slappy Slap. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Tonight, he says, Ace Steel will face AJ Styles in a ladder match for the now vacant X title. So low key limps out to bitch. I don't know why AJ was going to get a title match. Ace Steel beat him in that four way earlier. But he's very upset. Well, he was screwed. He was screwed by some computer nerd. <laughs> The computer nerd was over that fucking clock on the screen to fuck everything up. He could have taken a $200,000 bonus if he wanted to sign with that computer nerd. So out comes Mortimer to deny this. There's no fucking way Mortimer Plumtree has $200,000. There ain't no, he, there's he, no he, way. This is not like a $200,000 outfit. <laughs> he tells Loki to zip his lips and shut his yap trap. Calls him a scrawny little prepubescent pimply pussed pugilistic punk and says someone got a thesaurus for uh, Christmas says the whole world knows you made an ass out of yourself trying to pick a fight with Tammy Sitch now yes it's 21 years later and lord knows Tammy's had enough problems in her life I can't keep track of all of them I have zero idea what he's talking about there was a show okay and uh I think this is Sonny's side of the story, so I don't know what actually happened. But apparently, like, Loki sat in a chair that she had been sitting in. And and she said, I want my chair back. And he said, no. And she was like, give me my fucking chair back. And then he said something like, you will respect Loki. <laughs> and she got really pissed off. And apparently, they almost had a pull apart. I see. And, like, you know, there were, there were multi... I think the story was like there were two people holding him back and four people holding her back or something like that. So that's what happened. That was the, the argument. Just some I random house show that everyone should know about. Yeah, it was some show. So Loki responds. Oh, the good old days when that was the big drama. Loki responds by saying, "You got some damn nerve, you nerd." <laughs> Says this is all lies. But Bob comes out. He shouldn't have said, "You will respect Loki." <laughs> but Bob comes out. Says there's too much talking. And he talks some more. Yeah. So his reply to this is to book low key versus Ace Steel right now. The winner of that will face AJ Styles in a ladder match tonight. So Ace's earlier win now means nothing. And whoever AJ faces will have, to, will have already wrestled twice. What a dumb, 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 no dumb wonder show. Ace Steel looked like a maniac. That's what I wrote. If I would have been in his spot, I'd have looked like that too. Seven dumbs, and little did I know what was to come. And not to mention, this is all for the title that's held by Jerry Lynn that has not in this match at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Low key versus A Steel. Mortimer Plumtree wax keen the ankle with like a bucket or something. I don't know. Bullet sure. Bob is out there bitching. All the X Division geeks come out to check on Low Key. And then the following announcement is made, which I am not making up. The winner via countout, A Steel. It's a disqualification. The winner of the match via disqualification, Low Key. And the funniest thing was, Mike Tanay, the professor, is baffled that this is a DQ. Even though Mortimer Plumtree got in the fucking ring right in front of the referee and hit the guy with a gimmick, Tanay's like, what are you talking about? A DQ? And so they send over uh, the bullet, and he has to explain everything to Mike Tanay. And then the bullet, who's just over all this shit, he clearly doesn't give a fuck. Even in storyline and in real life. He gets in the ring and he just goes, We're going to have this ladder match. He goes, Everybody that's an X Division wrestler in the back, just get your ass out here and get them ladders. That is a setup for the main event. He, he, he noted the X Division has given him a headache from the start. He invited every X Division wrestler from creation. <laughs> so... I only expected like 20 guys to come out. So did I. And four came out. I was like, there's only like four dudes well, in the back? Well, a few already out there. I, there was like six or seven or eight guys out there in this every X Division wrestler from creation ladder match. And it's just Tony Mamaluke dying over and over and over again. I mean, I guess other guys died too. 
He and, was the prime dyer. He, and he, he didn't want to kill. He, he, he oh, German he just killed AJ. AJ he suplexed AJ onto his head. Uh, but he, he he falls off. It, it actually got to be like a cartoon bit because he, he first he fell off a ladder and landed on the same shoulder that he fell on earlier. And then later there was a spot where like he's he's climbing two ladders side by side, and they yank the two ladders apart. He's left hanging by the separated shoulder. <laughs> it was funny. There were so many spots where it's like, all right, this guy's gonna yank this guy off, but then the ladder falls over, and so he just falls down on the ground. Oh, this guy's gonna. I mean, they just fucking botch spot after spot after spot after spot. I'm just, I I, I couldn't even watch this match. It was just like. Are you guys going to get anything right in this whole fucking match? But even the stuff that isn't botched, it's like everybody's dumping everybody like shit. Like just dumping them on her shoulder, their hip, over rotating. Like even just when they're giving a move. Like I wouldn't do half this shit for a mania payoff. And they're doing it for God only knows what. It was almost like it was a shoot. Like, no one knew what was going on, and Bullet just came out and goes, oh, you fuckers, get out here and just do a ladder match right now. And they just had to, like, well, shit, we should fall, I guess. And they did a lot of falling. So, yeah, all that happened. I think my favorite part was when the ref got bumped, but then just stood up. Well, why the fuck? They did this last week, too. It's like, we're going to do interference in this ladder match. We better bump the referee first. Well, I don't think it was a planned bump. (laughs) <laughs> I think this fell so out of control they took the ref out on an accident. Probably wasn't. I think so, because, yeah, the ref did get back up for the finish. So he was there. <sighs> so Don, Before that, too. Don. Keep in mind, last week, Sonny Siaki just coming down to ringside and Jerry diving on him before the finish was enough interference in a ladder match that Bob threw out the finish and gave the belt back to Jerry. <laughs> that is true. That yeah. is true. Yeah. So somebody is screaming, somebody's going to get killed tonight, and I think it was probably gonna happen so finally aj styles cleans house carefully plants a ladder under the sex division belt climbs up the ladder he's clearly going to win when six pack runs out of nowhere slams him down climbs up the ladder and wins single-handedly making every x division wrestler in creation look like a giant boob and the crowd boos <laughs> loudly they were not happy well, they got two fuck finishes and two ladder matches two weeks in a row. Keep in mind, you had to order each of these shows one by one. Oh, yeah. And volunteer $10. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't like to give spoilers here, but Grayson is giving a spoiler. There isn't a ladder match next week. <laughs> what? <laughs> Glad we didn't pay for it. Uh, Xerox machine must have broke. But seriously, though, because I mentioned at the beginning of the show, it's like was there was shot. a ladder match where... Wall just walked out from the back and grabbed the belt, and yes. it was a no contest. Yes. X-Pac wasn't in this match. He has never once ever been in the X Division, ever. And he just walks out and grabs the belt, and it's like, oh, here's your champ. Uh, yeah. I think, I, I, I don't want to defend Russo, but I think the idea is the the Ken Shamrock ladder match. Is that the one where he, where he mm-hmm. walked in? That was billed as a one-on-one match. Whereas this was billed as any X Division wrestler in creation. Could X be Pac has never been in the X Division. Well, I know, but he's like he's light. never had an X Division match. I think this was before they said uh, no limits. It was supposed to be like and, you had to be under 200 or something. I don't know. Fuck who cares. And don't not least, to mention that X Pac's supposed to be a babyface. Well, I think it was and supposed he, to be a babyface finish because AJ's a heel. Like, I think it was supposed to be like, oh, man, yeah, he outsmarted old AJ Styles, won that title. <laughs> You know, everybody loves X-Pac. And there was a big pop when he initially won, but then you could hear people booing. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Because it was put together by somebody who has no idea what makes somebody good or evil. The, 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 the very concepts of good and evil are too too highbrow for this person. Yes. There was a game for the Xbox I, I like to play called uh, Inside Out, and there's a moment in this game where your character morphs with other bodies, and you become a giant ball of arms and legs that is almost uncontrollable and you start breaking windows and walls and that's what i thought of when i was it watching this amazing. match a giant mass of arms and legs where i could not pay any attention to what was going on yeah. i have was- less memories of this show than almost any show i've ever watched in my life and i still know it was one of the worst shows i ever saw just so much shit happened 
Well, think about it though. Like for the the four main guys, like the Maximos, um, Mama Luke, and Steel, they had to do. Steel and Mama Luke were in that cluster fuck four way for fifteen minutes. That they had to remember a shit ton of stuff. The Maximos were in a tag match where they had to remember a shit ton of stuff. And then they had to do a five-way ladder match on the same fucking show. So it's like they ran out of planned spots two minutes into that fucking ladder match, and they had to wing a five-man ladder match and try to make it exciting in a main event. Like, anyone that would think green kids to begin with could pull this off without anyone dying is insane. Like... Try to remember 30 minutes of four- and five-way spots. Can't happen. It's insane. It was ridiculous. Well, that was a show. Yeah. yeah. It was horrible. We do have the Don West hard sell for next week. This is the card. Six-pack versus AJ Styles in a ladder match that apparently somehow does not happen that way. Chris Harris and James Storm defend the tag titles against Michaels and Michaels. No relation. BG James versus Jeff Jarrett. And Truth will defend his title. Like Kurt Instagram. Hennig pinned him on this show. Maybe he could fight him. That would make sense. So that won't happen. There's no guarantee, yes. <laughs> Are you ready for your finishes report, Vinny? Let's do it and get out of here. All right, here we go. The finishes on this show were pin after interference, clean pin, four clean pins, and one late pin in a 15-minute Ironman match, pin after a guy stops his partner from winning and then accidentally boots him, Count out that is then changed to a DQ, but it doesn't matter because both guys are going to go to a ladder match anyway. Victory in a multi-person ladder match by the one smart guy, one guy smart enough to wait till the end to take no bumps and win. Excellent. Okay, we're slightly off. Yeah. The DQs, again, it didn't matter, but the guy who won by DQ didn't end up in the match. The guy who lost by DQ did. Who was not in the match? Loki. He was not? No. He was injured. I see. Yes. I see. Not as bad as Jerry Lynn. No. <laughs> also, one of the four finishers in the Iron Man match was a submission. That's also true. Oh. God, Benny, get on the ball, dude. I'll, help I'll try to do better next week. Record. Thank you. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you? WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute... As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.